<clears throat> Quote of the day. The most treasured gifts are the wonderful moments we create with the people we love. They become priceless memories decorating our lives. Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and today we are reacting and reviewing uh, the most unexpected collab <laughs> to be honest, like, like no joke though the most unexpected uh, album uh, that's, that's a more correct statement The Carters have arrived This family is the most influential family in the music industry But let's start wasting goddamn time but <laughs> actually, no. The only thing before we we go uh, and check it out, this album. I want to mention. Um, I I am pirating this album. Like I don't usually do that, but for this occasion, I had to because I don't have title subscription. I don't want to pay for title subscription. Uh, I already used before my uh, free trial before, so it's like I um, pirated this album. I. I have saved it and actually um, I set it on my Google Drive as well for you guys if you want to check it out if you don't have an access to title uh, like me and you would like to check out this album uh, link is in the description box below you can check it out for yourself and download it from my uh, Google Drive account I'm uh, giving you a shareable link uh, I'm allowing you to do so so go ahead and enjoy this album yourself uh, no problem. <laughs> no problem, you're welcome. Now, finally, let's get it. The Carters. <laughs> the Carters. <laughs> and the album. What's the album? Ever, ever, um, everything is love. Everything is love. First reaction, let's go. Track one, Summer. I'm just smiling, listening to the song, just trying to understand what they're saying. Oh, let's do it, for sure. Let's make love in the summertime. Yes, I want to be in your arms right now. Comment below if you want to. Let's see how many people want me <laughs> in, in their arms. <laughs> I'm just curious, I'm just curious. By each other. Yeah. Huh. Nice. They're incorporating sort of African roots. It really sounded like it in the end. Uh, like it's from Black Panther. Um, it really felt like uh, it's somebody speaking from Wakanda. <laughs> but anyway, um, honestly, I don't have uh, anything to say about their lyrics. Um, but in terms of uh, like musically, um, it's just okay song. I mean, it's not it's not bad again. It's but it's like uh, you like this is not the song for like to go back to immediately. You know, like um, oh, it's just okay. Yeah. Um, throughout the album, when you're listening to the whole album, yeah, for sure you're gonna listen to this song um, to have that full experience. But uh, as a standout track, no, like this is not a standout track by any means. Uh, the standout track is track two, Ape Shit. Um, now, I already did a reaction to it. Um, they, uh, from that slow jam, from that summer jam, they, they are um, dropping that fire <laughs> on the second track, you know, from slow to fast. Uh, and I like that. I like that. But I won't be reacting to uh, Ape Shit. Um, I won't be listening to it right now because I already did the reaction to it. Uh, you can check it out uh, if you haven't already. And, uh, let's let's get on to track three. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Track three, boss. 
So far, uh, Beyonce is dominating on all of the tracks. I don't know why they're deciding this. Like, I mean, why they're not giving equal time to uh, Bay and Jay? Uh, why, like, <laughs> Beyonce is singing or rapping the majority of the time? Uh, Jay Z, it's like Jay Z is more like just a feature. Uh, she's popping on the track for a minute. And then he leaves, or maybe even less, something like that. Um, don't really understand why, but so far it's enjoyable. But like, um, for me, maybe because I'm just not that. Like, I'm not. I wasn't super, super excited when Beyonce and Jay Z dropped this album. Even though I really appreciate, I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm just admiring both of these artists, uh, what they have done to the music, uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z is just legends, uh, top icons basically of the music, um, but I never <laughs> be have been uh, like super excited when they were dropping their albums and stuff, but um, I just usually check it out, of course, and I listen to it, uh, if I like it, usually I like it, but like I, I'm not like their fan or I don't get that excited um, comparing to some of the other artists you have uh, seen already uh, on this channel I've done before like when it's like, it's like oh damn new uh, song by this artist came out it's fantastic oh yes 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 I cannot wait uh, it's not like that here in this situation maybe that's why I'm not really uh, loving this uh, album so far uh, but production is A1 uh, it's just yeah, I uh, for me, I just not really having like a fun time, you know. Like I just okay, yeah, yeah, good, okay. And then let's move on to track four, you know. Like <laughs> it's like that. I don't know why. I'm not. I'm not hyped. I'm just just like really listening. Uh, track four, nice. <laughs> Beyonce can do everything. Oh no, they're saying actually hell no. Interesting. Well, she can do it, to be honest. She's a queen. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Okay, Jay, finally dominating the track for now at least. It's probably my favorite track so far, to be honest. Really loving this song. It's pretty catchy and the beat is nice I think this is really similar to what Pharrell Williams does and since um, the ape shit the song was produced by Pharrell Williams I'm assuming this track was also produced by him this because this is his sound like definitely and I fuck with Pharrell Williams so that's why I'm really loving this song right now Say, come on. Hey, I told you, yeah, Pharrell is here. <laughs> this is incredible. And yeah, they haven't they haven't mentioned any features, so we will get this unexpected features here and there. Okay, well, uh, I may be taking my words back because yeah, with this track, 
man yeah and woman ladies and gentlemen uh, i always say man just it's just a habit i'm sorry um ladies ladies uh incredible women females uh, i love you uh stay here it's not male dominant channel you know like i want you to be here as well uh so i'll try to i'll try to say either men or men and women or like ladies and gentlemen or don't say man at all but anyway um what i wanted to say is that yeah they got the hype back for me personally like with the um i loved ape shit um summer and boss were fine it's still a plus production as i said it's just like for some reason like I wasn't really excited. Uh, I was just yeah listening in the background, right? But uh, kind of <laughs> for me, it was like a more background songs. Uh, but this nice, nice song. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> it's yeah, it's like you, you're popping, you're dancing. Like you can basically bump your ass to it. Um, I loved it. Loved it. Uh, track five seven one three. This. What is going on? This is okay. This song though is pure rap, and Jay Z. Oh, like yeah, like in old times. Is it the new Blueprint album, Jay? Okay, Bay, Queen Bay, Queen B. I'm not sure how to call it. Is it Queen Bay or Queen B? I've heard different versions. Like people call it differently. Call her. I'm sorry, not call it. Call her differently. Is Beyonce referencing to track Still Dre? She's singing the same chorus as it was on Dr. Dre's Still Dre. Legendary beat, but here. Remember? Remember this. Now, go back. Insane, man what is going on with this track <laughs> I'm surprised what is going on I I'm not sure what's the reason behind of referencing this is just my first listen plus I'm not uh, fluent um, not speaking in English fluently um, I'm yeah <laughs> so there's a problem there's a problem uh, with my understanding a little bit but hopefully one day I will discover why this is going on but of course this is really cool alright track 6 friends mm. yeah, this is heavily trap based songs <laughs> This is not typical for Jay-Z and Beyonce, to be honest. Of course, the sounds uh, Beyonce was playing with uh, on the album Formation uh, was similar to this, kind of similar. Um, you still get that feel, like that unique feel you will not get on any other artist's album, like with the sound. Um, but And Jay-Z were also, because he's a rapper, of course, like back in 2000s, he was using those uh, pretty cool beats with like boom trap beats like uh, here uh, but this is still feels like they're experimenting this feels like new and fresh for both of these artists feels like they are um, writing on this kind of beats for the first time and this is legit um, this more trap heavy based um, rap album uh, this is actually really a rap album. Uh, I'm not sure how Beyonce's um, fans will accept this because yes, uh, the songs from Formation, the songs from the album, uh, subtitled album Beyonce, 
uh, back in 2013. Yes, they were similar to this, so uh, hopefully Beyonce fans will still love this album. But I mean, if we look back to her older discography, older songs like the song uh, Beautiful Liar with Shakira, uh, two incredible women on one song. Uh, if we look back to Crazy in Love, uh, Hello, Single Ladies, th those songs are pretty different to what we are getting now so that's why my it comes like my concern uh, is with this album is just like how people are gonna accept this album whether they're gonna like it or not because the fans of Beyonce it's not it's mostly females not males and, uh, and those females is just uh, some of them like rap some of them don't you know some of them are still from the pop era of Beyonce uh, some of them they got um, late to the train of becoming a Beyonce fan, uh, let's say from 2014 and uh, for them they will like this album, rap fans will like this album, but what about those those uh, pop lovers? So I, that's just my concern. Let me know in the comments below if you are first of all Beyonce fan or you just a person who likes Beyonce, what, what do you think about this album? Um, tell me. Your opinion, really, really interested to listen, uh, to read, <laughs> not to listen. Oh, uh, I, I wish <laughs> you could be in my house and we could have a discussion like this, but <laughs> unfortunately, but again, like at least we're connected online, which is also great. So please let me know in the comments below. I will definitely read um, all of your guys' responses and hopefully I will respond to them as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I like that kind of nocturnal beat at the background. Uh, track fans was pretty nice, but the only uh, complaint is um, it should have been uh, shorter. Uh, I mean, five minutes forty-four seconds for that particular track. I didn't feel like it was um, worth the length of time. Nice track and I feel like Jay-Z um, told us that hey like we're friends uh, in terms of like yeah we're lovers of course but we are also uh, friends with Beyonce like we support each other we will not uh, our bond will not be broken plus even if like crazy stuff like very difficult times will come uh, Jay-Z uh, will not leave away and um, he describes, he um, tells us um, about this using um, imagery, metaphors, like the imagery was about um, how, like if even though like our house, because of our feud with Beyonce, let's say feud, like argument, um, even if our house will be on fire, I will still not leave, I will be there for sure. And, that's that's pretty powerful that's pretty good and that's why I have that sign up there uh, s symbolizing um, that passion for each other uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z have so uh, hopefully it, it's just life goals for each of one of us hopefully one day we all get the love we deserve track 7 heard about us Beach dance track. Unfortunately, I don't have a cocktail with me right here. <laughs> I would pick it up and just drink it, <laughs> brag about it to you, <laughs> have a fun time. Yep, I'm in LA, bitch. You know, I'm not. I'm in San Diego, though. It's pretty close, two hours driving. The lyrics is not about fun times at all, it's just, it's just the melody. Yeah, this melody. Kind of similar to Last Friday Night by Katy Perry, just a little bit. It reminds me of that. It reminds me of the uh, party time, like have fun time, the beach, sunset, you know, it, for some reason. It gives me those vibes, this, this beat. 
track eight, black effect. Mm, damn, another five minute track. Okay. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I like that. It's a pretty nice comparison. <laughs> to eggs, the perfect match thing. Sorry, I just uh, I'm I want to fix uh, what I said before. Uh, not formation album. Formation was a single. My bad. Uh, I was talking about Lemonade when I was mentioning Beyonce's albums. Uh, Beyonce self titled project and Lemonade, <laughs> not uh, formation. All right. Uh, this one, to be honest, I'm not enjoying it at all. This song, before this song, it was pretty good. This song, man, for me. It had a nice uh, start with a spoken word um, from some uh, woman, uh, but after that, it just got mm, got boring. <laughs> uh, and the last track we have, love happy. Oh yeah, that, yeah. This is another thing. Uh, now this is this is different for sure. Okay, that was um, the album Everything is Love. Personally, uh, I wouldn't say I really enjoyed it. There were there were tracks that, that, that were just okay for me. Some tracks uh, did, stu stu uh, did stand out for me. Um, really loved several tracks. Um, one of those being uh, Ape Shit, uh, Nice, 713. Uh, Boss, I, I think Boss, I, I liked it as well. Um, but the rest of the tracks were just okay. Um, some of them didn't strike me at all. Like I probably won't be interested into listening to them uh, again. But um, if I'm go if this album drops on Apple Music one day, hopefully, uh, then I will be listening to the whole album. But um, for now, like. To the tracks I really want to come back to, it's Ape Shit, Nice, and probably 713. Uh, those are the only tracks I really want to like okay, listen to it again. I've probably mentioned this before, but this is just an opinion. Music is uh, subjective, all about opinion. Uh, just yesterday, I was bumping my ass off to Nas, uh, Nasser album, uh, but and that was just my personal preference I was really waiting for this album because Nas is a legend in the rap game I really care for rap plus of course it's uh, it was Kanye West's work as well because he was producing beats on that album so I was really hyped and I was I let's say if I love that album doesn't mean that other people uh, enjoy it or other people care about it that much but uh, a lot more people uh, is just the facts you know care about uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z rather than us, let's say. So uh, those people who are really stands, fans of Beyonce or Jay-Z, they are excited to come to this album and they will like it. Uh, they will like pretty much whatever they drop, right? Like pretty much. Um, there, are, there are exceptions uh, if they um, actually drop some trash, yeah, maybe they will be like, oh, concerned but um, the tracks a a, a plus production uh, nothing sounds bad um, 
everything is to the point. There is a point for these tracks, even though I'm not really getting it uh, still from the first listen. I, well, the only thing I got is Jay Z really adores Beyonce. Uh, Jay Z really is. She's he is looking at her like she's a female god because well it's pretty much it's true <laughs> because like most of people we really look like uh, we really look at her as a sort of goddess artemis you know um wonder woman let's say um, we we admire uh, beyonce and that's why we, everybody call her queen legit queen but jay-z does it on personal level and plus uh, she has legit love feelings to this woman of course they've been living uh, together for 15 years or even more um, so it makes sense and um, yeah I, I I like again uh, not really what I will um, listen to on repeat but of course not saying that this is bad album not saying that for sure it's a pretty good album just um, not really exciting me that's all of course some tracks are dope so still hit the like button if you like this video comment below what you think about this album personally i will give it uh, probably six out of ten uh, my ratings are usually on just my enjoyment whether i liked it how whether how much i liked it i'm just showing you in terms of like uh, tangible uh, things like in this case it's numbers I can show you through these numbers how how much I enjoyed this particular project or particular song that's why I'm putting those ratings up there so you know because like most of the time uh, on the videos yeah I, I'm positive I'm expressing that I'm really loving this song but like how much do you love uh, this song Bob you know like it's like that so um, that's why to answer this uh, question every time I put out ratings and um, for this um, 6 out of 10 and I already expressed why so um, yeah not a bad album not a bad album uh, hopefully uh, if you couldn't listen to um, this album yet I'm really helping you out hopefully <laughs> really hoping to help some guys out because um, yeah not on Spotify not on Apple Music uh, probably not on Google Play as well. Like with this album, it's only on Tidal, unfortunately. Uh, but it can be in your mobile phone <laughs> soon by clicking this link <laughs> down below. I um, probably commented as well uh, this link. Hit the like button on that uh, if you appreciate it. All right, hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next ones. Goodbye.